On Sundays in Berlin, pretty much everything is closed. Supermarkets, stores, restaurants, everything. Besides beer festivals. So Amanda and I were looking for something to keep us busy on Sunday. Expand our horizons. Explore the culture. Yep, we went to a tattoo convention. The actual convention cost more for one of us to go into than we usually spend combined on food in one day. We went into an outdoor courtyard area where food was being served and watched all of the amazing body art go by. And I tried to take as many sneaky clips of body art as I could. The thing is, body art is a much bigger deal in Berlin than it is back home. Walking from here to the main train station, I pass five tattoo parlors. Five. Just walking past them. In Canberra, you have to actively seek them out. And probably one in four people I see has ink on them somewhere. Since arriving in Berlin, I have seen more face tattoos than I have seen in my entire 25 year long life back home. Some is just like a little design. Some is full face flames. Body art is getting more mainstream back home. For example, there aren't many professions that will shut you out just for having visible body art. But it's still something that counts against you more than it counts for you. In Japan, tattoos are really associated with their organized crime. To the point where there are a lot of hotels and establishments that won't serve people with any skin ink. But here, it's so common. In the laundromat where I wrote this script, there were five people, two of whom I could see tattoos on. One of my favorites that I've seen that I didn't get a picture of is a woman who had a bird on her shoulder with a piercing for the eye. That was cool. So if you like tattoos, come to Berlin. They have body art, lots of it.